review of the have and have not yesterday then you know today i was more than excited to see if loving you is wrong so let's get into this review and before we get started let's have a moment of silence for kelly's mind because it's gone So let's just get right on into the obvious, which is Kelly and the whole Travis situation. Child, let me go on and tell you now. The girl cheese done slid off the crack. Y'all done seen the green mouth when the cheese slid off the crack. Her cheese done slid off her cracker. Kelly done went crazy. She over there. I knew that she was going to do something crazy. They going to drag her arse off the jail and she, she going to be down in the prison at the psych ward locked up. Because she going around talking about, I don't want to learn that. I don't want to learn that. We all know. We did too. But girl, you better pull it together. Y'all better throw some cold water on her face. Go in there, put her up in that shower that Ramsey died in. Put some cold water on her. Put her together. So before she care her behind the jail, L Luscious Lucian trying to help her calm her down and carry on. And she's still going to, she done shot the man. <laughs> Church fan. Where my church fan? She done shot the man and done went in there and got in the bed with her son like nothing didn't happen. I, I'm sitting up there yelling, Kelly, call 911, child. Call 911. Tell him he was beating at your window and he tried to break in. Lucian doesn't set it up for you. He doesn't kick the door in. You can tell him Travis did it. I don't care what you got to tell him just so you don't go to jail. Duh. Anyway. So she over here, she <laughs> went to Natalie's house. That's what she wigged out on him yet. And she walking around. And I'm like, did she smoke some? Kelly, come on. I know you in shock and all, but girl, if you don't snap out of this, you're going to be shocked down there at the prison with Big Bertha if you don't come out of it. <laughs> she's sitting up there. She's talking about, I put Justice to bed at nine. And Lucian, like, Really, Kelly? Poor Kelly. I knew that Travis was going to drive her crazy. So, we're going to have to have a moment of silence for her brain again. And hope she pull it together. Let's get in. Good, and I'm skipping around today. I'm not going because I normally take notes and whatnot to try to stay on track so the video won't get so long and long-winded. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is season... Three and um, episode 10, A Dame in Distress. But anyway, let me get on. Because Kelly is definitely in, in, in distress, honey. She passed distress. But then again, the dame in distress could have been Eddie chained up. <laughs> in that bedroom. No, God. He was chained up there. And then he got the nerve to have... <laughs> Lucian name and his phone is that itch. Is that what he said? Chained up there. He <laughs> Lucian better be glad. He better be glad the women was with Lucian because if not, you'd have stayed chained up there so they can have been putting their fists up your behind with spirit fingers. See how that felt. But they did something to you because you came down them stairs and got the busting calf. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> you was good at it. Got the shooting. People up in their kneecaps. So they must have gave them, gave your booty them spirit fingers because you was, you was mad. And you was big mad and angry inside. <laughs> so you won't be making no more racial slurs to nobody else, will you, buddy? I think not. <laughs> That's what I thought. You watch your mouth from now on. So anyway, when the whole show started, tell me why Natalie sitting up there in that busy neighborhood with her blinds open. Um, <laughs> let me, we don't even need to skip to that just yet. When them women went upstairs <laughs> and seen Eddie spread eagle on the chain. <laughs> 
Esper Host Speranza gonna hurry up and snap some pictures. She up there Snapchatting and Instagramming it while he spread eagle chained up in the love cave after receiving his spirit fingers in the butt. Anyway, I skipped around, like I said, moving on. Why Natalie sit up in this house with all her blinds open? I understand your man is a cop and all, but it don't mean you got to sit up in the house with your blinds wide open, girl. I understand you ain't in the projects no more, and you in this lovely neighborhood. But no, honey, we still don't sit up with the blinds open. When it's dark in bedtime, we close them, okay? We close them. Mm -mm, ain't no way. So anyway... Kelly, Kelly in there, the busting all them cats up, and Travis gonna go in there and get in the bed with her son. Did she not think all the neighbors was gonna hear that? She got every dog in the uh neighborhood barking. You know, kept up all this commotion. Next thing you gonna know, the neighbors think she's selling dope. She's selling dope. <laughs> She's selling dope. You can't be doing all that like you about that life. You had like Kelly up in there acting like she came from that, where Natalie come from, like killing is coming. No, Kelly, when <laughs> you bust some cats with somebody, the police is coming. You should have, I don't know. I hope they get her together because she gone. So anyway, I hope they get out of shock. They, they, I, I'm, I'm up here like, I hope Natalie stirred some up in that water to help calm her nerves and she'll just go to sleep and sleep for about two days and then wake up and maybe she'll be out of shock or something. They need to, um, they're going to have to get her some medicine. They're going to have to call a doctor friend or something to get her a shot or something because she, she near about gone. Now, Marcy. Marcy, the whole... In the beginning, I was team Marcy. I'm like, yes, Marcy, you need to be with Brad. It need to come through. You and Brad need to hook up. Y'all need to do this. Now, I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of it, and I'm over it. Like, if you want to be with her, you need to start acting like a desperate twitch and go on because all the back and forth and all the lying is too much you done lied on this lady talking about she told randall you was pregnant you know that lady didn't tell randall that you was pregnant because your butt was over to the obgyn and he was wanting to know why you was there now mars um alex did plant the seed but she didn't she didn't say it if i was her, i'd just if if we going to, for tap like that, if I was Alex, I just came out and said it down right anyway with all the lies Marcy telling to get back with him or whatever. If we gonna play, let's play. I mean, <laughs> like I said, when this first started, I was Team Marcy, but it it's kind of got petty and old. So now I'm kind of turning back to where like, okay, Alex done begged for, for forgiveness. She said she did wrong. She over the pettiness. She trying to be about her grown woman stuff. I guess because I know women that have cheated that uh, feel, out, feel out of love with their husbands. And, and I guess that's why I can relate to Alex. Being that I've been with the same person 23 years. Finna be almost, well, 23 and a half years. I understand where she's coming from. Because you do, you can fall out of love with a person. Especially when you're not getting the love that you need. So that's how I guess I'm kind of relating back to Alex because this is it's getting to be a bit much but anyway moving on Brad sitting up here trying to act um gonna start this little stuff about her running over the randoms man come on you know she didn't go over the randoms you know how much she been trying to do everything she can I understand the doubt because she has lied she done told quite a bit of lies or whatnot but anyway Brad pissed me off because he was going to try to say something about Kelly not needing a, a gun and all of this kind of stuff. Um, was he going to go over there and protect Kelly? No. What Brad didn't do is shut his mouth and go over there and worry about the two women you got. Here you are walking up with Marcy by your side and not your wife. Your wife's sitting on the porch. You didn't even ask her if she was okay first. You came up, went straight next door and started talking and running your mouth about why Kelly got a gun. You need a gun with your little punk ass. And, oh, you may, see, you made me cuss. Oh, Lord, church fan. You made me get my sticky. So, anyway, 
moving on. And then Esperanza, she bet not said nothing about Kelly having no gun and no kids being safe. When she didn't sit up there and shot up a whole house, was a whore up on the ladder and asked, and was putting her booty on the man's nose and then like she didn't know and and um being careless with her gun. Kelly got one for protection. Um Host Baranza just over there shooting all willy nilly out there like she the damn real McCoys. So I'm not trying to hear nothing she trying to say about how Kelly irresponsible about no gu gun and Brad either because he's so busy hoing around. He can't even look out the window and see if the girl all right. So he needs to shut up too. Go see about all his women and cheering. So anyway, Larry and Randall was passed out. Well, I don't know what they had been doing up there after they chained Eddie up. Had him knocked out. I think they did something to Eddie. We'll find out later on because his mind going to be gone. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, Eddie going to kill him. Eddie better be glad that Lush, Luscious, uh, Lucian answered, uh, answered the phone even though he didn't believe him. And that Esperanza then turned around and asked because, you know, he done kind of burnt his bridges with everybody. So then... <laughs> If it weren't for Marcy realizing Larry Carr was there and really questioning in her being there with her key, they probably would have left him over there. Ain't no telling what that's what they'd have done to uh, to him chained up over there in that um house. But um, Larry gonna gonna try to say Eddie hooked himself up because he that limber. <laughs> <laughs> and then they gonna laugh when he said he not pressing charges. Y'all gonna hope he, he y'all gonna wish he to press charges because that fool crazy. Y'all y'all ain't seen nothing yet. It's really about to go down. Um, but anyway, um, did y'all notice when the police was there? I ain't never seen it be a murder and the police didn't want to talk to the suspect right then. How Kelly sitting over there at uh, Natalie them house and the police ain't even trying to say nothing to her. Ain't coming over there. I don't care if Lucian is a cop. I don't. I ain't seen nowhere where the cop got that much weight that you ain't gonna ain't gonna say not one word to her. Like she that distraught. That ain't nobody gonna go investigate it or nothing. Okay. Y'all let that slip just a little bit. But okay. We gonna go let y'all have that one. But anyway. <laughs> so that's pretty much what my recap of tonight's show. I didn't, you know, let me see. My biggest thing is I was ready to see um, what happened with the Travis situation. And I and I do believe, with, do believe Kelly should have shot him. I'm glad she did. She needed to put him in check. He shouldn't have been trying to break in anyway, but I wanted her to shoot his ass through that window. Ooh, I cussed again, arse through that window. But anyway, did y'all see the preview when Host Baranza told West Coast to get on his knees? <laughs> she told him to get down on his knees, honey. Yes, she did. That's right, Host Baranza. Train him early. When he walk in and see you looking how you be looking in a certain way, he already know to <laughs> bat down bitch <laughs> get that tongue ready I hope you're doing some tongue exercise <laughs> and did y'all see Ian laid up in that bed church fam I said wait a minute wait one minute here I said let the let the camera kind of linger on Ian just, uh, just, just let it Linger on Ian just a little longer. <laughs> yeah, Ian. We see you, Ian. We see you. <laughs> we saw him, didn't we, though? <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. The show was good. I liked it. I can't wait to the next episode. As always, hit the notification bell so y'all can be alerted when I upload new recaps reviews and reactions be sure to like subscribe comment and share i thank you all for watching have a wonderful night have a blessed night and have an even better day tomorrow and i will see y'all in the next video thank you guys for watching Bye.